Welcome to Dyer the Murray Cup 2016 Gre uh, Green Group A uh, Fetty Attack 786 versus the Yellow Fellows. Looks like we're uh, going to go into the draft now. It'll be interesting to see if these teams mix up their bands or whether or not remaining. we'll see Invoker and OD first band again. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. First ban for you bet you attack 786. It's uh, OD, you guessed it. He's not going to be playing today. Ten seconds remaining. <clears throat> and Kale gets banned out Dyer as well. team ban. No real surprises there. Now, on to the... More serious bands. Are we going to see a ban on a Spectre? Maybe. Uh, Earth Spirit, possibly. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Both Reserve teams, time. Of course, uh, fresh from defeats by Destination Requiem in this group. Uh, fighting for second place at the moment. Uh, we'll see whether or not we see, well, loads of seas. I ah, see, I see seashell, seashore, seashell. Dusk though, banned out by Fetty Attack. Team uh, ban. It's probably a targeted ban, I think. Um, we'll see what the yellow fellows respond with now. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. It'd be interesting to see whether or not Yellow Fellows have taken any time uh, to research Fetty Attack 786. See if they <sighs> might. Oh, uh, okay. They're going to ban out Spectre. Dire Quite team a lot of problems pick. being caused for teams by Spectre. Uh, he was played earlier today um, by Paul. From um, we're we kind of suck. Unfortunately, he was shut down pretty hard in the early game and wasn't able to fully come online before uh, Team Straight um, finished uh, finished him off. Ten so seconds first pick remaining. then for Fetty Attack seven eight six. Uh, I wonder what we'll see remaining. getting picked up here. Maybe a support. Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter then for the off lane. Radiant um, team pick. I wonder if that's for Mama said knock you out. I think it's Super Fire Mixtape Volume 4. First two picks then for the Yellow Fellows. Um, should define their draft. Um, we'll wait and see though what they, what they pick up. Ten seconds remaining. Rubik. Rubik picked up by the yellow Radiant fellows team there. Pick. The means Fetty Attack 786 are going to have to be careful. Already, obviously, the Ravage worthy of being stolen by the Rubik there. I do love this hero. He does have, uh, he does some amazing, uh, has does have the possibility for some amazing plays. And uh, he can really set up a team fight and also change things around if the player uh, of the Rubik is able to grab Ten those seconds all remaining. important spells at key moments. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter, the second Dyer pick up team for pick. the Yellow Fellows. Curious to see in what role the Yellow Fellows are going to play the Bounty Hunter tonight. Obviously, we saw him played uh, a couple of times earlier today. Uh, one team was fairly Dyer successful team with him, the other one not so much. Um, Dazzle picked up, uh, obviously Bounty Hunter gives you that lovely, lovely track gold. Um, so even if you are behind you, you can catch up. 
Uh, fit attack Radiant though, bans out bands. Axe. Um, we haven't got an offlaner yet for Yellow Fellows, so it seems like a fairly, fairly decent ban. I wonder if they're going to be maybe thinking about picking up a Legion Commander um, for Fetty Attack 786. Or uh, the Brood, maybe, or Ten uh, seconds remaining. someone else that uh, Axe would uh, fairly heavily counter. Five also seconds that, remaining. Um, creep skip that Axe can get done uh, can be really quite painful. Reserve time. Next pick up for yellow fellows then. Oh, oh they're gonna sorry, the next ban even. They're Dyer gonna ban out the ban. Uh, I ban out the juggernaut now. Um I do think I suppose uh Fetty Attack seven eight six are gonna be looking for a safe lane carry. Probably Sven is a pretty good pick, I think. Um oh Faceless Void being banned out. Radiant like say, team banned. That's uh, three possible offlaners banned out by fa uh, Fetty Attack 786. Ban number four for Ten the seconds yellow fellows. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Having a good old think about this one, they're going to choose to ban out the silence. Radiant team pick should open up th uh, some things for uh, both teams. There, obviously, silence are not going to be in play. Um, we don't need to worry about him uh, spoiling the fun, shutting it all down with the global silence. Razor. Razor Dire then team picked pick. up for the mid for Yellow Fellows. I think we're probably going to see Bounty Hunter and a roaming support um, role here. Does negate anything that Fetty Attack 786 want to put in the jungle and uh, also kind of semi negates um, some of the invis hero possibilities. Didn't work out too well earlier for. Um, not Team Fish against We Kind of Ten seconds remaining. Uh, Clinks was still able to have his a wicked way Five with those seconds guys. Remaining. Reserve time. Will we see Fetty attack 786's mid hero or possibly? One of their other cores. I uh, suppose they could pick up another support. Um, it really depends on how much of their draft they want to give away here. Obviously, they will have last pick, so we need to keep an eye out for that brood pickup. Um, not too much AOE on Fetty Attack Seven uh, on the Yellow Fellows. So I mean, uh, even Phantom Lancer would be an option uh, as a late on a late game pick here. Still, with the way the draft is set up at the moment. Shadow Fiend. Old school Radiant Shadow Fiend team picked pick. up for the mid most likely for Fetty Attack 786. Uh, Fetty Attack 786's Shadow Fiend versus Razor. It really depends on the skill Very of the uh, of the mid player, obviously. Dire Shadow team Fiend pick. nerfed a fair bit by that recent change to the camps uh, with the uh, magic resistance aura, um, making. Flash farming in the jungle to catch up with Shadow Fiend more difficult. Sha Spirit Breaker picked up for the offlane then for Yellow Rally. Fellows most likely. Uh, with Bounty Hunter already picked up. Radiant Team Drought Ranger bad. picked up for the safe lane. That's going to magnify the damage of Shadow Fiend and uh, Dazzle. <laughs> Not that Dazzle's really going to do anything. I don't think we'll see the Dazzle carry um, from before. Although this uh, this draft may be bringing back some remaining. nightmares for the yellow fellows, um, I don't think they need to worry Five about Kali Dazzle. 
Lion and Bandai, Fire I think they obviously back. recognize that they're going to need a final support for Fetty Attack 786 and uh, Lion, one of the stronger early fighting um, supports that doesn't need much farm. Um, Dry Ranger obviously needs a bit of farm. Shadow Fiend uh, Ten could seconds be a monster remaining. with a bit of farm. So, I mean, that seems like a fairly safe uh, banner. Phantom Lancer, though, banned out by Radiant Fetty Attack 786. Pick. I think Yellow Fellows did pick it up before, but they picked it up third. Um, I'm not sure they did actually, maybe I'm thinking of another team, but um, yeah, I mean, as far as AoE is concerned, nothing to speak of on Fetty Attack 786 really either, um, there is the Ravage there on the, uh, I suppose Dry Ranger with Ags could probably deal with Phantom Monster quite well, but we're going to see a different pick here, so, I don't know, I think Sven still quite a strong remaining. hero for the Yellow Fellows, and um, possibly see Five something seconds else though, remaining. for the Safe Lane Farm. Reserve time. Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit then picked up. That's Dire going to go team into the safe pick. lane with the Rebic and the Roaming Bounty. Spirit Breaker in the off lane, Razor in the mid, and the final pickup for uh, Fetty Attack 786 is going to be the Visage. Um, okay, so. Interesting lineup there. F. Alex going to pick up the Visage. Kingy going to go on to the Shadow Fiend. Super Fire Mixtape Volume 4. Goes on to the Tide Hunter. And finally, we've got uh, Mama Said Knock You Out on the Drow and VNG on the Dazzle. Couple of disconnects there, as per usual, on Lux. Have a little look and see what the heroes have been picked up on the, uh, the uh, Radiant side. We've got OCC on the uh, Razor. I want to fuck cat girls on the uh, Spirit Breaker. He played the old uh, Bristleback previously, I think, in that offline, so that's a normal kind of role for him. Someone is going to play the Bounty Hunter Armor Bez on the uh, um, Ember Spirit, and I want to tax cat girls uh, then left over on the Rebic. Just uh, waiting for Lux to wise enough fuck up, and um, let us uh, let us get this game going here. Okay, just having a look at the items being picked up here. Mama said, uh, "Knock you out." It's going to pick up the Wraith Band recipe. Kingy going to go straight in for the Wraith Band as well as a Fairy Fire and two Tangos. Someone going to pick up the Smoke of Deceit. And uh, also a smoke going on to Alex F there. We should uh, maybe see a little bit of uh, Skullduggery for the first rune here. Okay, we're going to smoke up here, I think. It's on Visage though, he's coming in from the 30 left seconds to battle. An interesting wraparound being suggested by Spirit Breaker there. Uh, not going to find anything though. Uh, there is the smoke up. Uh, the bounty hunter has popped the smoke. There's no one on this side of the river. They are going to have to wrap round to the bottom if they want to find anything. Um, good idea, guys, but it's not going to. It's not going to yield any results. Same thing happening the in begins. the off lane. <laughs> Uh, in the uh, on the dire side, even uh, Gold for is a great conductor uh, for Razor. Going to trade even there, and um, we are going to quite quite quickly settle into the lanes here. Nothing exciting happened then. This beautiful little ward. This will block the uh, block the spawn camp there. They're going to spot it out fairly soon, though. Obviously, um, that first camp will not spawn because of it. Nothing done in the jungle by uh, 18 minutes. GG. Young, uh, the yellow fellows, um, predicting an 18 minute GG, obviously by um, Fetty Attack 786. Um, I'm sure they feel quite comfortable in this matchup. Let's have a little look here and have a see what the uh, last hits and denies look like. Uh, ooh, it looks like uh, Bounty is farming somewhere. Where the hell is Bounty? Is he in the offline? To me. Oh, okay, they're going for a 2-1-2. Um, <laughs> just kind of sharing the farm at the moment in that in the offlane there. Um, 
Alex F leading up though he has already double stacked this camp uh, pulling it in the correct fashion there um, looking to come in now behind uh, someone um, meanwhile in the mid lane uh, things going fairly even kind of favouring uh, Fate Attack 786 at the moment though A little bit of early harass from uh, Alex F onto I want to fuck cat girls. Ooh, my searing yes, the fire mixtape gonna be in trouble here. Rudick with the uh, lift. Armor Bez just trying to get a little bit of DPS on him, taking quite a lot of damage from the creep. And uh, Super Fire Mixtape forced to pop his uh, forced to pop his salve and back off there. We do have three heroes now from uh Fetty Attack 786 in the top lane here. Dazzle pooling once again. I'm not sure that's the greatest pool though. Um, he will manage to start. Double pool, damage. Uh, good timing on that one. Um, building up quite a lot of uh, stacks there, which uh, Mama said knock you out. It's going to lead to farm at some point in the future there. Also, it means that if they do decide to pool this lane, um, they are going to be able to control it quite well, but they're pushing it quite hard at the moment, and that does mean that a lot of this um, creep will make it to the uh, Radiant side, and the Radiant will get the opportunity to uh, farm those up. Assuming they can uh, get their last hits off. Yay! 0-0 oh oh still, we do have a nice sentry ward there, ready to spot the Bounty Hunter if he does rotate down. Bounty Hunter are going to control the runes here a little bit, he does uh, have the Shadow Walk already. Um, gonna move down uh, into the mid now. Obviously, that help. they're ready for him though. Uh, if he does cross the river, they're gonna spot him out, and he's probably gonna eat a raise to the face. Super Five mixtape getting a lot more out of the lane at the moment, um, more so than Armor Bez. Difficult for him to get in about there without his supports to uh, to zone Super Five mixtape volume four here. Um, Rubik, where are you, buddy? You need to be. Elsewhere, he's going to pull the lane here though, and that's going to help uh, creep equilibrium. Someone has actually rotated to the bottom here, and he's in behind Super 5 Mixtape Volume 4. Are we going to see a little bit of action here on him? We have got the uh, Flame Guard ready to be put up onto Ember Spirit, and this will give him the opportunity as well to uh, farm these creeps under the tower though. Um, the creep wave just a little bit too far forward there. Uh, not able to uh, get all the last hits. Uh, difficult, obviously, early game with Ember. But he is going to pick up some XP from it, and it looks like someone and I want to uh, tax Cat Girls going again on to Super Fire Mixtape Volume 4. Armor Bez is here now as well, uh, and uh, they're just going to push Super Fire Mixtape Volume 4. Thanks be to you. Uh, not able to get the kill just yet, but I mean, well played by someone. Um, just zoning out the Tide Hunter there, making sure he's not getting too much from the lane and allowing Dyer's middle to tower up. is under attack as far as farm is concerned a uh, good time for OCC to go for that top rune there Ta his lane is pushed out pretty well and uh, I mean Bait Lord will pick up a bit of farm yeah. off the back of that um, but so far OCC actually leading the last hitting even despite that Kingy having a few issues there uh, keeping up he is managing to kind of stabilise <laughs> I want to fuck Cat Girl. It's going to be in trouble here though. Uh, Dazzle's in behind him and there is going to be a poison touch with some frost arrows. He's very slowed here. If he doesn't find something to charge, he is going to be in severe trouble. And he is just going to stop him. And, uh, get First DPS blood down by and a the point well taken. Well, um, F Alex, the Drow and the poison touch from uh, the NG there. So uh, kind of a, a, a sneaky wrap around from uh, Dazzle, who is now going to TP bottom and help out there. Radiance bottom tower of, uh, is under attack. I think they feel that they've maybe pushed um, the Spirit Breaker out enough that they, he's not going to be a problem. Another good uh, pull by um, I want to tax cat girls, uh, giving Armor Bez more free farm in the uh, safe lane here. Tide Hunter is still managing to make some pretty good uh, progress though with the farm. And uh, who actually got the kill and blow at top there? It was actually Dry Ranger, which will be unfortunate for um, it's unfortunate for the yellow fellows. OCC though still managing to dominate this mid lane on the razor. Um, Kingy, I'm not sure uh, how that's going for him there. Obviously. 
he is picking up some last hits as well, and he's getting the XP. But um, it's kind of expected to, uh, to be a little bit stronger there. Once attacks, Cat Girl's also throwing in quite a bit of her decent harass there. Someone is here now as well, and possibly they'd like to get a pick off on this dazzle. Um, but so far, they haven't pushed in enough. Uh, for Invisibility. Another another rune going the way of uh, OCC there. Hopefully, he can maybe do something with it. And I want to fuck Cat Girl's in trouble once again. Um, the lane is pretty well pushed in. Uh, they're going to die off loads of the creeps. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I think he did manage to pick up some XP from that though, so not the worst situation. ENG taking some more damage from Bounty Hunter. Um, I want to tax Crack Girls though, not in a position to uh, to assist there. I think he needs to be a little bit more aggressive um, and uh, let the Ember deal with the creep, the creep Equilibrium. Focus more on uh, zoning them out. But both heroes now forced back. I'm not sure about why this Tide is heading back here now. Um, that's a bit odd. He has picked up a second resolve, and it looks like he's just going to go and pick up some TPs, but I'm not sure he had to go all the way back to base for that. Seems like a bit of a mistake. He's doing okay for farm though, still ahead of the Amber there, um, so I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's have a little look and see where we're at with net worth. Kingy's managed to catch up on last hits, but Razor is actually leading the, uh, actually leading the farm war now at the moment. Um, Tidehunter are doing very well to keep his farm ahead of the Ember Spirit, despite uh, Ember Spirit's uh, consistent last hitting here. Are we going to have any camp stacked up for him? Nope. Tidehunter catches out. Hand. I want to fuck Cat Girl's Spirit Breaker there with the early rotation in the stat. Sorry, guys. That's mean that Dazzle's on his own down here, and it's unfortunate that um, the yellow fellows weren't aware of that. Uh, or uh, perhaps they could have dived on him a little bit harder. We will see a TP back Radiance for uh, top tower is under attack. Volume four. He's got 25 seconds cooldown, anyway, so he's just going to head back to base and we get get his mana back before he TPs back to bottom. And uh, we got a rotation at top as well by uh, Vape Kingy, uh, Vape Lord Kingy. He's going to take both these stacked camps and, uh, you know, despite the nerf to... Uh, Despite the nerf to raise uh, with the double damage, um, he, I mean, he just double raised it though, so I uh, don't know, not, not so much of a problem as it is made out Radiance to be. Top tower is what the fuck, attack. Cat Girls then, looking to get some, uh, looking to get a counter attack here. Okay. Ember is armor base is here as well, and they're just going to blow up the NG. He has to pop the shallow grave on himself, but someone should be ready with the uh, shuriken toss. Ah, he doesn't quite get it. And it does allow uh, Dazzle to get away. Someone is dusted no. up and he is going to go down to super fire. Welcome to the Abyssal Pain. I want to tax Cat Girls now in trouble as well. And Armor Bez also dangerously low. These guys need to catch a break and uh, maybe head back to the fountain. Um, I don't think they have the sustain to hang around here. Have a quick look and see. Nothing on the Ember Spirit. He has picked up a couple of items there, though. His uh, his ring of Basilius uh, slash Tequila will be finished soon. Um, I think has a little Dyer's bit of middle uh, tower sustain. is so under attack. Can tango up and maybe pick up some XP in the lane for now. Maybe share something. Here comes the courier with a ward and a bottle for Armor Bez. That's going to help him out. And I uh, couldn't have arrived. Uh, oh no, the bottle I think must be. The bottle is in fact for uh, OCC. I wonder if Armor Bears might just Radiance grab it bottom here off tower the is under and attack. Use it to bottle up in the meantime. Superfire mix. Tape volume four, able to get in there and uh, collect some farm. I want to attack Cat Girls, we're going to have to be careful. He is going to eat a poison touch. So Super Fire Mix Tape volume four. Just going to go in on the Rubik there, going to try and zone him out. Um, we got some uh, boots of uh, tranquilness picked up by Visage on the uh, on Fetty Attack 786. Uh, I want to fuck Cat Girls in pretty good shape here. Uh, this tower has already gone down, so they managed to take the top tower. And uh, this 
strong push from uh, I mean it's difficult Dryer is very difficult to deal with but someone is here now and uh, he's gonna throw out the uh, this is really good for them actually Mama said knock you out in severe trouble the silence is there but the right click from I want to fuck cat girls too much for the Dryer and that's a huge kill for uh, for the yellow fellows there, seven hundred and twenty-two. Radiance bottom gold, tower is under attack. XP going the way of the yellow fellows and putting them up one kill onto the scoreboard. Radiance there is a rotation now fortified. though from uh, King. Radiance to bottom, the bottom tower here. is under attack. And we are going to see bottom tower being in trouble here. Tier one at top and tier one at bottom both going down. Then spirit breaker looking to charge in here. Radiance bottom tower. So have to be careful. There are four heroes for the. Uh, He's getting closer, he's gonna cancel it off and check on the rune spot here at the spawn. He's gonna have to be careful though, there is a rotation away from that lane by uh, these three heroes here. They're gonna go, there's four, three heroes, yeah, three heroes here. Four heroes in fact. I want to fuck Cat Girls in serious trouble. He's gonna use Radiance the middle to tower is under uh, attack. He's gonna get out, just uh, just there. Um, Endurance run! Gonna get Invisibility! Up by his, no, Tidehunter is gonna take him, okay. Um, I think uh, Kingy could have used that for his bottle, but he does have three charges, so that's fair enough. I'm going to rotate now onto the mid tower here, and uh, we'll see uh, mid tower tier one are fortified. going down at 12 and a half minutes. Uh, ah. minutes now, actually, by the time the fortified comes off. Um, Radiance middle tower has fallen. Shut away. Radiance top free, tower is uh, under attack. A free, um, a free cliff though. Uh, both uh, he was there taking quite a long time. Able to back it up. Radiance and, top tower uh, is under attack. You see, they're looking to counter attack here with the uh, charge out by the spirit breaker. He's gonna come. Out. They're caught by the silence into the ravage. And uh, I want to fuck cat girls going down once again. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Radiant kind structures of get this are fortified. Massages birds are now Dyer's up as bottom well. tower is under and, attack. Uh, are these guys actually going to try for Radiant's the middle tower GG? has fallen. Hammer Bez was saying that he would be triggered fairly heavily if these games weren't short. Um, so hopefully that's going to uh, it's going to resolve that issue for them. Um, so as things stand at the moment, we do have a Yash up on Mama said knock you out and Akila an Akila up on uh, Kingy as well as a uh, a Yasha for him too. He just needs to pick up the items there. Uh, and then we've got Amor Bez looking to build into his Battle Fury. He's a bit far behind though. He does have the Ring of Aquila, which will give him some sustain. I want to fuck Cat Girls. Uh, maybe he's picking up some Blade Mail. Um, Iron already finished on someone along with the Phase Boots. Drum on OCC and Ring of Aquila there as well. I'll so, take that. So on both VNG and on. Uh, and on Visage there, giving them plenty of opportunity for the smoke gank. Um, early Gauntlets of Strength uh, picked up on Rubik as well. I think mostly just to give him some early sustain, though. Uh, extra hit points and so forth. Maybe a Bracer. So, uh, 15 minutes in, having a little look at the net worth here. Should expect to see quite a big swing here. 3,000 gold uh, XP swing towards Fetty Attack 786 and over 6,000 gold. I mean, there's a lot of towers down though, so that's going to be a huge part of that. Um, still not over for the yellow fellows. They can pull this back by uh, by managing to split push some towers here. And uh, I want to fuck Cat Girls though. Going to go for the charge here in mid rather than pushing that bottom tower. Almost said knock you out. Going to have to be careful, but there is a rotation in by Superfire Mixtape for the three. Uh, no, he gets really quickly there. He has picked up his blade. Yeah. Dyer's bottom Someone then looking to attack. do some damage here. Mama said, knock you out. If he can pick up this kill, that's going to be good. Uh, the uh, second highest farmer on the map at the moment. Ruby going to throw in. Dyer's the, uh, bottom tower is under attack. Here. And F Alex here now as well. Also in trouble. VNG low Shut on away. health. Um, Mama said, knock you out. Also low on health, but we're going to have a TP back from Kingy. Uh, no, they're going to look to turn this. Radiance down. top tower Dark. is under attack. What the fuck, cut girls? Uh, up to up to a bit of a sneaky play here. Uh, and we're going to TP to the off lane uh, and uh, maybe try and pick up some of the farm there. 
Obviously they do want to extend this out to try and get some farm up on their cores. We got a charge though by um oh man, put some fire mixed in. Charge on F Alex, so he's gonna be in trouble. He is gonna go down. The Ravage is used, but I think Super Fire Mixtape Volume 4 is going to go down before the rest of his team can turn up. The ult has been popped by OCC, and they do find the kill on Super Fire Mixtape. I want to tax Cat Girl's going to stun VNG with the uh, with the drop, uh, the lift uh, of uh, Kingy onto VNG. They're going to back it up there, but that is a great trade for the Yellow Fellows, taking them almost equal as far as kills go. 2 for 0. Oh. Great play, guys. Really great play. And uh, I think yeah, the Fetty attack 786 just a little bit stunned uh, and uh, you know shocked by that. Gonna have to back up there. Um, if we have a look at the levels as well, I mean they're still ahead on Dyer's net worth, but a huge attack. turnaround for the uh, for the guys in yellow. Have a quick look at the levels here. Um, see where things are at. A level 11 for the Shadow Fiend. Level 11 for the Drow. So they have their second level alts. Um, level 10 on the Razor. He'll be finding level 11 shortly. Level 9 on Armabez, level 9 on the Tide Hunter, the offlane Tide Hunter, hun, Tide Hunter, the Tide Hunter, uh, maintaining, um, maintaining the same level as the safe lane farm there. Um, and if we look at the supports, it's a better story for, uh, for Team Fetty Attack with a Visage on level 7. Bunny Hunter, Rubik and Dazzle all trailing the pack with uh, level 6 there. Uh, Ember, Amorbez struggling to keep up with the Drow and the Shadow Fiend as far as farm goes at the moment. Obviously, once he gets out, oh, have we got a Roche attempt going on here? We do have a Roche, and uh, Yellow Fellows seem none the wiser. Uh, they're going to try and push this bottom tower, but they need to be realizing at some point there is a troubling, a troubling situation here. The, um, the uh, Shadow Fiend, Kingy, picking up the. Uh, what the hell? Where did he charge? Nothing Checking out the school. Dyer's middle tower um, is under attack. They're all kind of still there together. Nothing for uh, I want to fuck cat girls to pick off there. And um, yeah, a little bit of a misplay maybe by the yellow fellows. Not sure what they could do this early to uh, to deny that Aegis, but certainly uh, they could have harassed from the high ground with the uh, with the Ember Spirit there. Birds then looking for a stun on armor best and he needs to be careful. He does take out the ward here. Um, oh, he doesn't quite get it though. There is a charge in by um, I want to fuck cat girls, but he's just gonna back off. Uh, just, you know, a bit of caution. And uh, he pulls um, the birds on. Uh, in fact, three of them back into you, into the situation. Armor best then throws in the shackles, but immediately backs up. Kingy uh, down here with the Aegis, OCC gonna have to back Go it. Um, these guys, uh, they don't want to give away what they just picked up as far as kills are concerned. And uh, maybe costing them a little bit here. If we could see Ember maybe rotate to the top there, he would pick up some of that much needed farm. Um, but they are gonna try and fight for this tower here. And quite a few last hits going the way of the Razor. Razor actually leading on last hits here. Um, they got a uh, uh, Ember Remnant in there, but ah, this Radiance tower is going to go down so fast. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, Shadow Ray is picked up by Rubik. Um, fair enough. Someone looking for a kill on Kingy here, but obviously Kingy with the Aegis. A little bit of a misplay there by someone, which means the two of them will go down. Oh, and Ember going to get picked off as well. Fight for him, so close to die. Spirit Breaker going to go down, Razor going to go down, and that is almost a team wipe for the guys in yellow. Someone did actually make it out of that. I'm not sure if the rest of the guys should have gone in on that. Uh, he was just kind of harassing. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication, a little bit of a misplay. Like I say, Radiance Kingy did have the Aegis, so um, Radiance structures are fortified. Yeah, I don't think he should have gone in there. But yeah, okay, they've not they've managed to survive longer than the 18 minutes that they thought that they would do. Um, probably going to be quite pleased to have made it that Radiance far. Bottom tower the, has uh, the bottom rack's going to fall here. Whether or not these guys continue to push in after that, we don't know. Uh, we'll wait and see. But Amor Bez is here, and they are looking to take this Aegis off of Kingy here, but he's throwing out so much damage so early. There is a lift from the Rubik, and Radiant I wonder if that Cat Girls is going to manage to bash him down and take the Aegis. He's going to be in trouble now, though. Super Fire Mixtape, dangerously low. 
And uh, if someone could just uh, get a Janata Radiance off of him, in fact, that's a much attack. better position for him to take advantage of that. He could follow in with a shoot can toss afterwards. Ah, I needed the Janata first, though. And uh, here we go. Radiance he gets the kill on Tidehunter. <laughs> gonna be quite happy with that. Just gonna head back to base here. It's gonna stop the push. It's gonna stop them from pushing in any further there. And hopefully, maybe these guys can begin to reclaim a little bit of the map. Uh, there is a nice ward in here by uh, Fetty Attack 786, giving them high ground vision and uh, letting them know what's happening there. Fetty Attack 786 then need to back off and regroup and wait for their Tidehunter to come back up again. Um, I don't think his ult is going to be ready anytime soon, but a nice bit of farm here in mid for Ember to pick up. Uh, we'll see whether or not he's able to get a hold of that. Actually, if we look at the last hits, uh, it's not quite as good as we were thinking it was. <laughs> 142 on uh, Kingy there, and 107 on Drought. So the chart messed up around the wrong way. Look good there though. Um, but Amor Bez able to pick up quite a bit of farm here in the mid. And uh, certainly going to help him towards a Battle of Fury. And if he ever does get that online, the next high ground push by... Uh, by Fetty Attack 786 won't be so easy. We may get a little bit of a counter push by, uh, oh, I want to fuck that girls. Just on the edge of four or five dire heels here. Gonna have to be careful, but if he was to do a charge to the bottom lane at this point, he could get some nice, uh, diet, you know, some nice stands, but to no effect really. Top is missing. This is a strong push here in the top lane. Ember Spirit not quite. Radiance top well. tower he is under attack. Up the next uh, part of it, but it's not quite going to be enough. Razor comes in. OCC giving it a go, Shut trying away. to back him away, trying to buy time for the rest of his team. Uh, but the tower is going to go down regardless. And, uh, that's going to be a problem. Dark light. Radiance top tower has fallen. Now, what the fuck, cat girl? So it looks like he's charging in from the back here, and F Alex is going to have to be careful. The rest of his team are fairly far forward. Uh, Radiance no, top tower has fallen. Once again, cancels the stun. Uh, Radiance to top tower has fallen. I mean, the combination fallen. together would have been quite good, I think. Raises for the uh, for I want to fuck. Uh, Dyer's I want to middle tower, tower girls is here. under attack. They only have one tower left to defend, so she goes. Binding on her call between a rock and a tide place. Uh, Shadow Fiend picking up the kill there. Once again, they're going to back off and uh, regroup while they consider the mid push for the final set of racks. I don't know whether or not these guys are going to be able to hold this uh, levels wise. I mean, they're not in a bad position. As far as levels are concerned, so um, I just uh, I just think they can deal with uh, Shadow Fiend damage on uh, the, the Visage damage on. I want to fuck cat girls with a finished blade mail though. He is going to do some damage um, for his life Bump there. Finished blade. Uh, uh, going to come out here right into the ravage though. A lot of damage done, but not enough guys. And, uh, unfortunately, it does look like this tower will go down. Racks will soon follow, and that's going to be a G. Radiance call Middle Tower has from fallen. The, uh, Radiance Middle Barracks are under attack. From the Yellow Fellows. Radiance there. Middle Barracks has fallen. Dire victory. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Fate Attack 786 take the first game in the uh, in the set. I'm not sure whether or not we'll see another set from the Yellow Fellows. Um, but if we do, uh, we'll join you in about uh, five minutes.